En mijn naam is uh, Rieslag van Dichler. En uh, uh, I'm uh, from the Netherlands. Um, I want to share a story uh, today with you about uh, my passion and what we have done uh, the, the, the last three, four decades in, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the graffiti culture and in, in, the, in our, uh, our, uh, uh, yeah, our story. Um, I come to, uh, I come first, I'm going back, 1971. I was born uh, in the Netherlands in a small village together with my, uh, with my twin brother. Um, and that small village was uh, Anuid. It's uh, near the near uh, Amsterdam and Harlem. I think 15 kilometers below. And uh, yeah, it was an uh, it was an harbor place where a lot of industry was uh, was was taking uh, taking taking. And uh, uh, yeah, for us that was an uh, was a perfect playground. A lot of a uh, lot of buildings that will be uh, destroyed, destroyed uh, old train lines, and uh, you know the the whole. Uh, the whole package was there to explore what you really want to do. And uh, um, yeah, we were, I think, 12, 13 years old and uh, yeah, playing on the streets like every kid uh, in, that, in that era. And uh, uh, but there was, uh, there was one thing that was uh, going on, uh, on on a television in 1983. My parents were looking at the music programs and what we see over there was, uh, was video clips and there was a clip from Bondi. And um, yeah, it was Bologna, it was from the punk era. And uh, uh, but there was there were a lot of uh, combining things into that video clip. But there were also uh, uh, the shape of letters in the background, and we yeah we, we like to draw. And uh, but we see this, and uh, it was a click. It, it was a quick uh, quick quick move on the television. We had no uh, video camera or something. Uh, but we, we, we okay, what's that? And uh, we were focused on that, and. Uh, uh, yeah, we were also uh, going to draw letters, and we don't know what, what it was. We don't know the word with feelings like that. Uh, but it was in a, yeah, we liked it very much. And uh, uh, from that on, uh, we, we also see some clippings in my magazines that are from, from about music or or or, or other yeah uh, 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 things. Uh, we show we uh, we show also that same the same letter shapes, and uh, and and it was still reading. And we're still uh, publishing about uh, for, uh, much about uh, breakdance, and uh, yeah, we also like that, but uh, not so much at, 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 at the at the letters and, and the drawings. And uh, and we're going to do that. And uh, there was one guy who was on, on school, and he said, "Okay, man, that, that's that's uh, you have to be that on the wall because that's yeah, that's how it, not on the paper. It must be on the wall. So uh, we take some uh, some small." Uh, some small spray paint where we make uh, some some like where we do some hobby things with, and we're going to do that in our school class, uh, Aaron. And uh, yeah, that was cool. And we we we, we, we do uh, we also see uh, uh, at that time we see a video clip from Rock City Crew. Everybody knows I think it was, it was the first time we saw the the, the, the whole package, uh, and, and and we see some 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 record sleeves, but also the leather shades. Where we used, and in that time that we we heard about it, okay, man, it's, that, that's 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 graffiti, and so man, from from New York, it's cool. uh, yeah, we we're going to uh, fit that that whole uh, whole whole thing, and in uh, 1985, for 80, uh, um, 85, there was uh, there was another uh, big moment, and uh, we were walking into our public library, and we found this book. Was getting up so quick for feeding the world, and uh, was uh, we couldn't read it because it was in English. When we were 13 years old, and they was not so educated at this moment. But, but we see the images, and it was oh yeah, man, that, that, that that's cool. We have, you know, we, we have to learn it from the from the. It, it can take it three weeks from the library, and we, we take it three weeks, and and and, and one hour we think back and take it work for three weeks, and so on. So it's always our house. And uh, uh, yeah, we're going to do that same, you know, this this me. And then when I was, uh, I think, 14 years past, 15 years old, and, uh, yeah, copying. Uh, and uh, we combine all kinds of things we have seen into uh, uh, yeah, clippings, uh, articles, uh, what we see from the from the, from the getting up. Uh, you see the, the skateboarding, you see uh, uh, a radio. 
the word get out. Oh, should he do that? And uh, uh, yeah, after that, there was a big thing coming up with Sapoyard. It was coming in, in uh, after the summer of 1985 in the, in the bookstores of, uh, of the Netherlands. And then we see, okay, yeah, man, we see some guys, they had a book before uh, everybody else. And in one day, they were, were really good in graffiti. So it was going on. And, and then came so Peter's book in the, in the bookstore, and it's this one. And uh, yeah, there's the day you have to, that, that you have to feel. And uh, at the same, I think in one month on the Dutch television, there was a program set of another documentary setting out, was titled in Dutch, Strijd met Verf en Inkt. But this is the, the movie Star Wars. And uh, that was on Friday uh, uh, at night. Everybody, I think, in the Netherlands was sitting before of the television and it, it was, they, they sent it. And, and, and yeah, from that moment on, from, from every small former town to the biggest sub towns as Rotterdam, The Hague, Amsterdam, it was totally booming. And, uh, uh, and we say it and we think, oh yeah, that's the way it must be. And uh, it also a very uh, uh, known piece that at the date of, uh, of uh, 20 of September 1985 from Delta, he said it's on the night of Star Wars. So it was on television, he was walked outside and, and, and it was there. Right? And, and from that on, it was, it was so big in the Netherlands that, that it was, it, you, you can't imagine. And, um, but we are also playing the game. And uh, yeah, there was there was it was it was it was awesome. You can walk through the streets. You see the nice burners every day. There was a lot of development. There was a lot of publishing. Also in the in the in the in the regular media, they picked it up. They say, from, okay, man, there's there's something come going on. They said graffiti not longer uh, fails by dry, so not not longer damaged. And um, wow. Yeah, we fulfilled that also, that, that, that game, copying all the things, uh, you know, that, that uh, I think a lot of all the people uh, who also from that era know this kind of, of, of things. So this, uh, this, this is how we will evolve. Uh, but there was another thing. Uh, uh, we were lucky because uh, for my family, uh, we got a small camera. And under that camera, uh, we're going onto the streets and we don't, and we, we not only take pictures from the things that we've made, but we take a lot of pictures from work that other people made. And not for, that was also for okay, man. There was, there was so much development and there was so much going on, going over, going over, going over that you, yeah, you want to capture that, that things. And then you can learn from it. You can, uh, you can, you can, you can share with other people the pictures. And it was not digital, or we were real we we pictures, new uh, pictures. Uh, vintage pictures of paper from negatives. So we were collecting uh, graffiti from that moment. We don't we, we don't uh, put a name collecting on it, but it was collecting. It was, it was, uh, and we put it in albums and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we were really uh, passionate because every day we're going out. And uh, yeah, when we were 50, 16 and, and we go to, to other places and we go to, yeah, that's that all uh, that's all thing. Um, and that uh, that will that that will that will call for an uh an, an, uh, uh, uh yeah that will be bigger and bigger and bigger and it, it shows a real uh, good overview of graffiti in the Netherlands, but also from Paris. We went to Paris with a with, with school trip, and uh, everybody's going to be for that and, and the, and the tower and stuff like that. We go to Stalingrad, we even had. Because we have heard about it was before it's breaking out coming out. We will book where it's told the story. We heard from people, okay, when you go to Paris, you have to go to Stalingrad. We go to that place and we search, search and we found it and we, and we go in and uh, they also take a lot of pictures over there. They were very high level. So we came back to, to, to the Netherlands and we, we will show the pictures to other writers and everybody was more development and development into the styles and stuff like that. And uh, it was also when hip hop was coming, really, uh, really, really, a really a big thing. Hip hop parties and uh, what you see over here is nice, interesting because um, graffiti was used as for 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 for. Uh, uh, now you can call it marketing, but uh, that was it was uh, for the flyers. And it was a real uh, good uh, uh, combination between that. But we also, but we going also to collect the flyers. 
because not of the hip, but exactly the hip of the, but for the letters. And, and, and it was finishing. Uh, and we go, yeah, I did it. It was it really, really big. And I go from, 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 from the Hague to Rotterdam to Amsterdam, uh, Paris styles, new old style, new styles. Everything was, was, uh, was on. And we take that pictures. And, uh, and, uh, there was also a thing that, uh, moment, and I think 1988, 1981, the end of the 80s, um, Publishing came in, and it was a sort of uh, somebody else as, as the ID Freestyle Magazine was the first in the Netherlands. Okay, man, let's let's make a magazine because then we can share what we have done. Because a lot of things were cleaning or or, or yeah, the, the, you can't see what's going on in Groningen when you lived in Eindhoven, for example. Uh, so let's make a magazine, and then we publish uh, uh, pictures, and we publish also some stories, and but also. And it's really strange, there will be contact advertisements in that magazine because I'm writer X and I want to be writer I. To, 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 uh, to let you know where you are. It's, yeah, incredible. Uh, but this was the real first thing where graffiti writers themselves share their, uh, their background to their stories. And, and uh, we, we were part of the Bomb team from Bomber Magazine because we take a lot of pictures. The bomb team was published a lot of pictures, so it was a good fit. And uh, yeah, we were doing uh, we were collaborate uh, in that in that magazine. Um, because that's a, that's I think afterwards a really interesting part, also about the view of this whole uh seminar. The graffiti community documented its own expressions with the limitations of the materials available at the time. And that's uh, that I think is, is really a, yeah, that that's a cool one because uh, there is a there's a group of, of uh, people that has the same passion but what they do is also uh, capture that passion into material that they, that they can use and and uh, uh, yeah, that, that's that's just that's just strange uh, that's, that's a strange thing. Okay, I'm going a little bit uh, uh, faster 90s. Uh, that, that was I a lot of talking about the 80s in the Netherlands and also what we have done after, I think in this year, we uh, stopped painting by ourselves. And, uh, but we were uh, more focused into, onto what uh, uh, that the culture. Uh, and a lot because of, uh, in that era, the, the trains and trams, not a public system was uh, in a New York state of mind. And, and that was, that was, yeah, was awesome. We also get in that area, in that time, we get a, we get a camcorder, video player camcorder. So we also go into film uh, stuff. And um, yeah, why people really like it? No other reason. Uh, uh, so that was, that was a lot of, yeah, that, 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 that we, we lived that. And, uh, uh, but then I take a big step. Class of the four, huh? making pictures, making in, in movie material on cassettes, and we never look back. Take it, and it was, it was full. Take it out, take a new, and make another uh, another movie. But in two thousand four, I think uh, my brother and, uh, and and some other good guys, uh, friends, they uh, thought, okay, maybe it's an option to make a book. Why? Uh, because it's cool. You know, uh, yeah, maybe we can tell a story about graffiti, but yeah, that's that's a big story. There are a lot of things. Okay, let's let's focus on a place, one one spot. That was the idea, and it was okay. What what kind of spot we take? Because there has a lot of stories to tell over there. It's not on, it can be only one wall. So that will be the, that was the 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 the, the, the Battle of in Amsterdam, Meester Fisher plan What was the the Big spot in Amsterdam where every story should be painted came together from the Kirk era, from the from the from the from the, uh, the era that that on the New York based style development was going on. It was tramline uh, nine to the to the to the Ajax Stadium was going over that. It was it was the effort, the, 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 the big uh, spray paint dealer Hanks was standing on that place on that market. So the total story was coming in. It was a legal spot. It was not a legal whole thing. So that that was, and it was also an, an uh, it was built through the Amsterdam government that that people can go walk under the roads 
to, uh, to the, the don't, uh, don't uh, be going to the traffic, the people don't go under. They want to walk into white. So this the total uh, square of, of, of tunnels and stuff like that was, there was nobody. It was totally under the ground. Um, so all that all that part, that social part, and that 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 sorry, that graffiti cultural parts came there together, and we, we made the book and said graffiti battle of Atlo. and uh, yeah, it's a sold out one classic. It was also the first uh, Dutch graffiti book. Um, yeah, it was nice. But after that, we were going to collect more things, magazines. Uh, uh, special publications. There was an area that, that graffiti was from the streets going to the galleries. And uh, they labeled that this post graffiti. And, and there was a, a lot of things going on. And we're going on and going on and collect, 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 taking pictures. And also, not with a reason, only that because we liked it very much. And uh, also original ones, black books, drawings. Uh, <laughs> From visitors from New York, stuff from New York, uh, we found uh, old uh, uh, um, uh, uh, catalogs from expositions, from uh, exhibitions from uh, also from New York, and 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 uh, we we let people um, and made drawings for us. Uh, now it was just total uh, a total going on, and uh, uh, and we take also from things we were we were older, and we we did some more school. And we learned also about the cultural, uh, cultural and, and art uh, story, and, and that, that was a lot of crossovers also made. And we, we liked that. So we, uh, uh, we called further and further. And uh, then in 2014, um, okay, we've, we've, got, we've got all that stuff, and it's cool and nice. But maybe we, it's, like, it's nice to share something with other people. And, um, and then I thought, okay, yeah, that's cool. And we did some things on photo roll. There was, there was some uh, in a website or a sort of uh, sharing platform where you can make an account and, and put pictures on it. And that's it. But that was the time uh, in 2014 uh, when Instagram was coming up. And we said, okay, let me Instagram. That's new. Sorry, and you can put one picture. Can upload one picture and, and, and some text, not more. So we take uh, uh, my brother did make the account Dutch Graffiti Library, and we call it a library because yeah, we 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 that yeah, we, our first uh, focus was books also. Uh, that was also from way back, getting up and had uh, the story, the library we liked it, that kind of thinking. So okay, that's graffiti library. We use the Instagram, and uh, we take pictures. And uh, from from items we've got in our collection, we did a small story about the knowledge and where it came from, and uh, we put it on, and 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 people liked it, and we got we got followers, and uh, yeah, it was nice. And then and and then one moment, uh, we got a, D, a DM message um, from a guy from like from, from Paris. And he was doing a show at the BNR in 2014. And uh, uh, he did there a show in, and, and called that uh, the Bridges of Graffiti. And on this show, there was work from uh, uh, artists that got their roots into the graffiti mentality, but now doing their thing in their way. It was Delta, Fidula, uh, and Hero, Motu. Uh, you know, Bridge of Profiti settled in a proper frontier building, riches so that past generations, major contribution to this culture can finally be acknowledged and put into context. And what he was, and what he has done over there, he also made bookshelves. And he said, okay, in that book, in the graffiti books, there is knowledge, and that's also 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 for the next gen, they can read uh, where it came from, so they can place the works that they see over here into context. And he sent us a DM and he said, oh yes, you went for a lot of books. And uh, can you get, can I, I have a list, all the books, you want to show all the books? Uh, can I send it to you? And uh, maybe you've got one or two and, and, and you can show it over there in, 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 at the BNR. And he sent a list and I think he's got 70% of all the books that, that he was looking for. 
Ik zei, oké, okay, we've got that. En ik zei, oké, wow, can I, can, I, can I do alone? Ja, ze zei, for sure, but we put it in a box and we send it to Italy. En And after that, he, he, he was, it was the, he, he take the whole uh, uh, exhibition and he uh, came back to us and said, okay, man, we, we publish it, we, we set it over there. And what, what do we need to uh, put in the catalog? Because we're making a book about the beach of graffiti and, uh, and he's also my book. And then uh, uh, what, yeah, what we have to take next to it, I said to my brother, it's only books, you know. Uh, our own name is a little bit strange. Uh, just when we were talking, so, hey, wait. okay, what we have to do, we put on Dutch Graffiti Library because that's that Instagram account. That's cool. So we did that. We said to him, okay, put it, uh, it's a part of Dutch Graffiti Library. So that was, uh, was uh, this is uh, this picture from, from, from that, uh, from that uh, space and uh, on the BNR. And uh, um, okay, in this, in this book, um, there, There's, there's a whole story about the 100 graffiti books and the things that were from Dutch graffiti library. And from that moment on, uh, I also uh, uh, make uh, the, 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 the domain, you know, the URL, uh, Dutch graffiti library, .nl, .nl. And I put a mail address on it. And I think four weeks later, I get a mail from, from our University of Boston. And they ask, we're going to a, a study uh, trip to the Netherlands. Can we visit the new library concept? Each of our or in my house, you know. And uh, but that was also a thing that hey, there is interesting, interesting in, in, in about that wave of documentation, in about our what what we what we do. And um, uh, so for that moment and the on this graffiti library exists. And um, and uh, we liked it very much that people like what we do. And um, uh, and we think, okay, let's do a let's do a website. And the first thing we thought at that moment was we're making a sort of platform, and we're going to share their things from our collection, and then you can make an account, and uh, you can check it. So okay, account the thing out straight. The feed is is not for us, man. It's for everybody. So. We throw it away uh, and uh, we say, okay, man, we only made a header with the Instagram plugin under it and we only use Instagram as social platform to share all that storage. And uh, this was our first website. Uh, we what we call it the Twin Hype, just graffiti library, an extensive private collection of graffiti related publications, photographs, articles and items collected from the mid 80s until today. And this was uh, what we what we launched. And uh, yeah, that that was that, that we don't think about it only about only okay, it must be for for everybody. Um, and um, there was also a, a thing that was coming together in the Amsterdam in the Museum of Amsterdam, there was a show. Uh, um, New York meets the dam. It was a collection from Amsterdam from New York. And it was coming to Amsterdam and was a story told about the uh, feeding culture in Amsterdam show together. And there was crossovers and stuff like that. And they say, okay, uh, it was a good, very, very cool show. And uh, uh, we asked, okay, is there a coming uh, publication? And we launched some objects, some objects in that actually came from our collection. And they say, uh, no, we've got no money. And uh, okay, can we made it? And that we publish it by ourselves. And on one, uh, 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 on one uh, thing, that there must be a selling point in the museum. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so we made uh, the publication, uh, the, 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 the catalog by our own to share stories about the whole culture. And uh, uh, we printed in, I think, in uh, oh, this was an, uh, it was uh, uh, 500 copies. And I called the the, the, the seller, the, the, the guy who was selling the books in the, in, the, in the shop from the museum. And I said, okay, man, uh, it's finished. Uh, can I bring the boxes? And she said, ah, the boxes, the boxes. Uh, no, man, uh, deliver me 40 copies. That's fine. 
because uh, we always sell 40 copies in uh, three months when there's an exhibition. I said 40 copies. So I think there must be, uh, uh, you can, can do a lot more. And uh, he said, I'll bring me 40 copies. Okay, this I brought him a 40 copies when uh, one hour before the, it was, the exhibition was opened. And uh, I think uh, it was on, on Thursday and Friday morning, nine o'clock, he called me. Okay, man, bring the boxes. Every, everything is gone. Everything is gone. So I bring, I bring the boxes. It was sold out, I think, in a week. You have to do reprints. It was a very, very, very cool show. Everybody, it was like all the old guys were, 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 were with, with the graffiti mentality, recognized, okay, man, what I have done in the past have value now. And not only for what they do in style development and stuff, but also from a from a, from a point of view that young people can see that okay, man, what when when I do what I want to do, I can come somewhere. And that that was that was sort of the message in that whole in that whole thing. Um, so and all that that guys that they that also have uh, uh, collected clippings and stuff like that, articles, and they say, okay, you are good feel like maybe maybe it's at your at your uh, places. Place was home at that moment. Uh, it, it's a uh, it, it, that's a good place because you you share the stories and you collect and you make a sort of thing about it. And there was also a guy, and in this in this time he, he was doing a whole he had a, a, a disco records, um, and he told you, okay man, what you've got that's that you, you have to see that as a real as a collection with 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 a, with a total story. So. Uh, that was also a thing in our mind. It was okay, man. It is going further than only uh, uh, take the things uh, everywhere out and, and put it in maps and because we like it. Uh, uh, and we do more research by ourselves. Uh, yeah, in the Netherlands, you got two ways of how the graffiti was landed. Also from the punk era, the end seventies, where 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 people do uh, name writing. Uh, also for its establishment against the government, and that was also that was also a cool, 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 cool story. So we we going to do research in that uh, in that uh, in that uh, in that way, and and also there were uh, um, found things about it. Um, but still, 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 it's always in uh, 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 my house. And growing and growing and growing, and uh, yeah, but, but it will be. It was more professional. It was more. We do a lot, and 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 then in the in, in 2018, maybe we have to to make a foundation, and uh, also because we there was hunger from uh, institutes to do something with graffiti. They don't know what to do. But, but they, there was, there was, there was what's going on. And because when we make a foundation, maybe we can, uh, we can, we, we can fit that interest. We, we're more in the, we're more, this is really strange, but then we're more uh, at the table. Um, and uh, in 16 January, 2018, we do the creation of the foundation, the description, the library. And we made an, uh, made an, uh, a sort of an, uh, script that the foundation is uh, responsible to making the collection accessible for the public to share, to tell stories. I, we, we made a story about that also. And from that moment on, eh, we, we, we have, we see, you see it over here, we're convinced that this graffiti library collection can be a great added value to research and in historical education that it can inspire and contribute to the effective dissemination of knowledge about the graffiti culture or derivates of this culture. And that was our actual also flow for that moment. And that we, we thought that was our belief because we, we, we saw that uh, there, was, there, was, there was a lot of interest in storylines, in where it goes to, what's the opinion now, how does media through it, et cetera, et cetera. And you see, these are some things uh, that we have that we have published, or where we will be involved. It was research. It was exhibitions. It was it, it was an exhibition that we do by our own. Uh, uh, we, we, for example, we give we give advice to the, to the government of Amsterdam how they has to uh, go on with graffiti on the streets. And, you know, so 20 years ago, uh, the, you was to pick up the going to jail and now you have to pay the bills. And now they're going to ask, is that valuable? 
do we need this? Is, is that a Banksy? Oh, man. Yeah, you see some things that would, uh, from that from that point of view, from that year. And uh, um, we evolved into also some, some, some uh, yeah. Uh, for example, we, we, we learn things uh, from our collection that is put into perspective at this moment. Huh? Um, uh, and this is uh, this is also what we have done in 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 in, our, in, the, in an institute for architecture, and we, we, we had to, to think, okay, maybe we have to do an exhibition about what is Dutch graffiti the library, and we thought, okay, we can go to a to a place where uh, you know where everything is bombed, and that's cool. So no, and let's 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 try to do it on a place where there is sort of fit, and okay, the institute for architecture. And graffiti is a little bit no, not so really fit. <laughs> and we talked with the director and we said, okay, man, this is what we got. Said, oh man, graffiti, that, that's what uh, what what architects uh, like. Why? Uh, uh, because they build buildings and then and and, 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 and you, uh, your 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 group is, uh, is, is is painting it. No, 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 you don't have to see that uh, that way. We said you have to see it. You build cities and everybody used the city in the wrong way. So, and thought he was looking and he thought, what do you mean? I said, you, you, you build a city from a few, but that is not always for everybody the way he used that city. You, before you want to use that city, of how he recognize himself in that city. So, uh, uh, in, in that case, we turned it on and uh, he said, okay, that's cool. let's, do the, let's do the exhibition over here. And we did it and, and, it, and it was cool. Because uh, a lot of uh, we did we did uh, uh, talks over there to architects and to, to to interesting people and everybody was coming in for graffiti. That's not, that's not my thing, and that's not my thing. And it was and 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 one hour talk and we show all the objects and stuff. Okay, man, this 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 culture we don't know that. So that's, I like that. And then the the the, the public uh, standard media was taking also. Uh, see what's going on in Instagram, for example. So that, that platform was, uh, was, was perfect to share, okay, man, watching my name go by in another dimension. Yeah. Watching my name go by, not only uh, in your area, the train was going on, who was riding in front of your own house, but you can do a train and, it, and, and, and on, the, on the phone, it's, it's, it, it, it's going by into in Tokyo or in, uh, in, in the States or something. Yeah. Just watching my name go by, go further and further. And um, um, and there was and now I, I would thought okay it's cool but we do the things like we do but maybe it's interesting to ask what is the way the graffiti community wants it how do they want to tell the story and what's heritage because that's the word we read and we thought hey that fits also on what we do. Uh, maybe we can do a sort of uh, sort of a uh, research um, uh, in the, in the graffiti community. Uh, what's what's the heritage? What what do you see as heritage? What do you see you as graffiti culture? What is what is important to 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 uh, um, to, 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 to keep for the for the next gen? And what's what's going? What what's what can we throw away? For example. So we did the project uh, Unwritten. Because of the unwritten rules of the G, you know, that, that there is not a, a sort of a book with, with, with all rules now that, that that's that's made in the community itself, and uh, and we did a we did an, a, 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 a sorry we did an, um, a survey, and uh, in that survey we, we we had a lot of questions, uh, only for graffiti writers. Of guys and girls with a background in graffiti to ask, okay, what do you think how graffiti must be preserved? That's cool. What the, the, the word are coming uh, answers that you said, okay, that's 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 interesting. And uh, other answers we have uh, worked on that, and we have made uh, 
Uh, here's to see the also the screen uh, from from the survey, and we published it into an uh, uh, 36 A3 forward digital and uh, 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 offline. It, it's in Dutch, but with all the answers. And then, um, uh, yeah, that there, there, there was there were answers as uh, okay, only the stories. My pieces, okay, man. If, if, uh, when I made it one day, the next day, yeah, I'm going further. Yeah, the, the, the stories about friendship, black books, because of the process, more important than the end, than the result in the end. Yeah, these are some 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 answers from from all the questions, and it made for us it made an, a, a really good uh, insight. Uh, how they what they what they uh, 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 labeled as values, um, and um, Stencil's pictures. Here, for example, the charm of graffiti is that it's uh, that's going away. Everything is going away. Uh, but if you want to, if you say if something is important, then only the sketchbooks. The sketchbooks, the books, are the black books. So the, everybody, the writers give, give, give their opinion and their way, and, and, and we get commitment to that. Because the way what we do, uh, it's not our culture. It's a culture from the whole wine community. And that's the way that I think the, 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 why what we do is successful, because they like it, because we do it on, on their way. Because we are they. But we are... Uh, also writers in our in our uh, in our blood. So twenty, we were thinking about how to how do we inspire and contribute to the effective dissemination of knowledge about the feeding which was our way. Now and we can collect for for years and and okay. And uh, uh, there was sort of. We were, we were going to a, to, a, to, 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 a, to a school in Amsterdam, and it was a denim school. And uh, what they do is they teach for uh, to be a denim professional, make clothes. And graffiti and denim, that, that's from, from the past. That's, that's always um, that, that's a good, that's, that's, that's good combination for the black pieces. And, and, uh, um, and we were looking there, talking about maybe we can do a talk here, and uh, that's nice. And there was a space over there, and and it was and it was free. And we said, "What do you do with that space?" Well, uh, for rent, oh, okay, and, and help. And 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 the one we when we drive back home, and we, and we, I talk with with my colleague in in involved. There's also a lady involved in this graffiti library, Charlotte van Dor. She's doing all the project management, and all these things. She's from the she's more into the cultural uh, heritage and 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 art uh, from from the past. And we talk about it, and we take thank them. Maybe it will be nice if we can fit in that 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 space, so we can uh, also show what we do. And um, we are lucky with some money, and uh, and we say okay, let's do it. And we go in, and uh, after that there was Corona, so. Uh, yeah, there's not really a, a lot of people coming, but for us it was it was cool because we had a place where we go to do talks with with original institutes or, or foundations or stuff like that. We can say, okay, come to our place. We're into that school over there, and we can uh, tell you uh, what what we do, and uh, and also the kids from the school they do their thing, but they will be inspired through your collection and and all the, and, and, and everything what's in, so they can. Uh, yeah, they can go in there, do it yourself, your own way. And, and then we got in that same time, after one and a half year, uh, uh, we put more stories, more uh, uh, Instagram, but, and we get from that also, uh, we do a longer stories, more and more uh, valuable in, in, in the context. Um, and we published a whole series of uh, 10 issues uh, ur urban heritage, but only the stories about uh, the, 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 yeah, the heritage from the streets. Eh, inspire young people. But then in, in 23, there was also a day from a, 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 from
she was following us on Instagram and she put in a, an advertisement from, <laughs> from a, a real estate agency. Maybe this is something for you. And it was a pitch event where you have to tell a story and the price was a 145 meters square uh, uh, building where you can, uh, for one year, where you can do what you want. There were 100 uh, 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 people who were, uh, must tell the story, uh, but we won that uh, warehouse, warehouse uh, with the concept about graffiti culture, because we made a story and we told, okay, um, we want to uh, build over there a museum, a museum about graffiti culture, totally based on the collection what we've got, and um, uh, but that's not the only thing. We want to share around to the uh, 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 to the people from the underground from this moment, young kids. Well, they want that, that that they can show what what they do on the street mentality. So with the, with the, with the values of the past in the back, they go to uh, they go to the future, and it can be everything. Uh, food, dance, uh, uh, thoughts, everything, uh, when it's based on street mentality. Um, and uh, yeah, we're now working on this. Um, it's old and we're going to say, okay, man, that's, that, we're going to make that museum about graffiti culture. It's totally uh, focused on uh, our collection that our collection tells the whole story line of uh, uh, CDS heritage. Huh? And uh, we see there's a dynamic and sustainable alternative space for art, heritage, and education based on the streets. Uh, well, we can show that history, part of the history, and, and create also an environment that offers opportunities to the current underground and its exponents. And um, and we're thinking about the whole concept, how we do the things there, digital, uh, physical, we're going to do crossovers and all that way, because we also know that, for example, Black Hook mm -hmm. from the 80s, you don't let people go to it and put their own tech in it or stuff. But we, we're going to digitalize the things that you can see on the screen. And if you can, uh, uh, maybe you can do some reactions on that screen, what you think about it, what your stories are. You know, we want to do a little bit, a lot, of, a lot more than only showing objects. Um, but it's still, uh, we're still on the way and, and we hope to open uh, in, in, the, in, in the end uh, of after the SAR. There are some, there are some things to, we have to, do. Some, some 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 things to have to solve, but uh, we're we're on uh, we're on the way, and uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, when I was uh, 15 years old, 15, 14 years old, I was uh, into the library uh, looking for for for, uh, for clippings. I don't think uh, that was not my goal to do this, but we prove that we we now arrived at this uh, at this team. Uh, also, to to share that graffiti cultural story. Because we think that is valuable, that it's really uh, important to capture that whole uh, movement and that everybody can be uh, lucky about it. And maybe some people not, that's okay. That's also, that's also the future. Yeah, that's my story.